Hey everyone, it's Justin Staub here, your DECA GOAT, for a very quick video on how to make your virtual role play look even better. Many of us, if not all of us, are preparing for a virtual role play at states or provincials if you haven't done that yet, or you're excited about the opportunity to do this at ICDC. If you set up your environment, set up your workstation perfectly, your message will be front and center and your judge will not be distracted by the things around. So I want to run through a couple of tips with you, and then I'll show you exactly how it looks on my end. First and foremost, if you're recording from your laptop, make sure your laptop camera is at eye level. Uh, this would be like you're looking across the, the competition table at the judge and try to look right into that webcam when you present. If you don't do this and you're looking down at your laptop, it's, oh man, it's really off-putting because it looks like then as a judge, you're looking up at somebody. If you don't get the angle quite right, it is a little, uh, a little distressing as a, as a judge or as a teacher watching your students' videos. Uh, the cheapest way to do this, guys, is to just stack books up and set your laptop on top of it. Or if you're going to maybe go a little bit of an extra mile, grab your phone and put your phone at a, an appropriate height so it can record you speaking to it. Now, speaking about phones, because I saw some of this from my students when they were doing their role plays for states. Some kids record their, their video in vertical format, turn it around so it's widescreen, it's landscape, you're going to get a, a much, much better video. So keep your camera at eye level. Next tip, sit up. Posture is super important. Uh, you want to sit up nice and tall in your chair, uh, in the front third of your chair, get comfortable feet on the floor, and it, doing that will also limit motion. Uh, now, I'm sitting in a swivel chair. Uh, I know I have a tendency to move in a swivel chair, so I'm extra focused on keeping my feet on the floor so I don't move. Sit up. If you feel more comfortable, stand up. But often when students stand up, they find themselves shifting their feet more and they move a little bit more, and that too is distracting. You want to find a comfortable, uh, upright posture without including too much extra movement in your video. Next, put yourself in the middle of your video. Take time to think about what this is gonna look like and present your best self. Put your eyes in the top third of the, of the video screen and make sure that you're showing and getting that message across to your judge. So this is what I had taken a picture of. You want to make sure your eyeballs are on the top third of your, of your video there. Next, clean up your space. Doesn't mean clean your room. It just means make sure the space that you're in is clean. If you take a look at my, my side view here, there's not much to my space. Uh, it's just me sitting in front of a bookshelf. Uh, make sure you have an appropriate backdrop that feels comfortable. And if you can't get that appropriate backdrop that feels comfortable, then just do it in front of a, a plain wall. Uh, make sure your space is clean and not distracting. Um, there are a couple of tips that you can have about what to include in the background. Uh, if you don't have a clean uh, white or, or neutral colored space, just choose a bookshelf. Uh, maybe with some mementos on it, maybe some deco trophies from, from previous years. Uh, that always goes very well. Next, try to find a quiet space. Uh, you are going to record your, your role plays probably from your home. Uh, if your bedroom's not the quietest space, go to the basement. If your furnace kicks on, try to find a time of day where that's less likely. When I record in my basement, I turn my furnace off. Don't do that. Don't, or if you're going to do that, make sure you tell your mom and dad. But ask your parents about how to find that spot in the house that's going to be best for you. If you have a home office or your parents have a home office, use that. That's probably a very quiet, very neatly organized space. Next, lighting. Lighting is so huge. If you light wrong, your video is going to look terrible. And then your message is going to get clouded in just this really weird, shadowy video. Uh, try to light from in now I'm going to point out again, I've got one of these knockoff ring light brands. Uh, I like it because it can do uh, multiple different lights. I can make it brighter or darker based on skin or skin profile or based on the, the lighting in the room. You want to try to light from in front of you. Uh, so the light is coming from behind your camera. Uh, and you can have multiple sources of light. You can have diffused light. That's all really all going uh, quite over the top. If you just have a, uh, a desk lamp. Or if you have a, a table lamp and you stick it behind your laptop, you're going to get some good enough lighting. Don't light from behind you. So you don't want light coming from behind your head or over top. Or if you have your ceiling fan or your, your ceiling light on, all those things create some very weird shadows in your video. Try to avoid that. So if you follow these tips, you're not going to get the, the dark and you're looking down at your webcam uh, on your laptop like I talked about earlier. You want to set your laptop up on or you set your camera up so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, and you won't look right at it. If you pull off those tips, everybody, you will have a great role play video and your message will come through and I am sure that you will crush it. If you like this video, 
uh, hit the like button. If you like and want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. Uh, but I am Justin Staub, your DECA GOAT. Best of luck on your DECA success journey.